Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about how will you determine beta DC of a transistor. Okay, so this is where most commonly asked question in university exam. How will you find the value of beta DC? So that is why this question is very important to understand. If you have given such kind of circuit which is based on the transistor BJT based circuit and you are asked to determine the value of beta DC how will you solve okay so this is very important question you need to understand so after watching this video you will be able to solve such kind of question if you are asked in your university okay so let me explain the requirement here okay whatever you have given in your requirement so let us say let us say they have given the vbb that means uh, the base voltage which is 5 volt you can see then you can see here the base resistance that is rv and that is given to 100k and there is a current flowing through base to emitter like this here so you have also given the value of iv which is 50 micro ampere okay now at that uh, now this is this is one loop okay this is all about to base to emitter junction now let us understand more about collector to emitter junction so in the collector to emitter junction so they have given the the collector resistance value that is 1k and and they have also given the voltage drop across this resistance so the voltage drop across this resistance is 5 volt you can see here i have mentioned here this is 5 volt and they have not given any any vcc voltage okay let us assume for now so you have given the voltage drop across this resistance which is 5 volt and now you have given the voltage drop across this resistance which is 5 volt and you have given the base current and which is 50 micro ampere so you have got only two parameters by using para to these two parameters let us solve the the problem and let us find the value of beta dc now you can see here you have got the the voltage drop across this rc is 5 volt and you have got the base current iv okay so how how you, you will solve how will you you will find the value of beta dc so let me do it here so like let me use some medium thick and yeah okay and let me use some like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, blue okay so now you can see you can solve so first to find out the value of beta dc you have to find out the value of beta dc so this is your objective here so please watch this video after watching this video you will be able to solve the value of beta dc and what is beta dc let me explain you beta dc is nothing but dc current gain this is current gain of your amplifier this is current gain of your transistor so this is very important parameter to understand and this plays a vital role if you are going if you are using a bzt here okay so let so let us find so for now this calculation i i neglect the voltage drop between collector to emitter okay so this is the voltage drop between let me explain you let's say this is the voltage drop across the resistance which is given by vrc and this is the voltage drop across your collector to emitter which is given by vce for this explanation let me neglect the value of vc okay so if you apply now kvl on this loop okay what you are going to do you are going to apply k 
KVL on this loop that means you are trying to find out the value of IC so let me find out the value of IC IC equals to what is your voltage drop across the RC that is 5 volt and and your resistance so what is RC RC is 1k so if you solve this you will get here 5 milli ampere right so 5 volt divided by 1k you will get 5 milli ampere now you have the value of ic and you have the value of iv so what is the value of iv it is already given in your question the value of iv is 50 micro ampere okay the value of iv is 50 micro ampere the formula ic equals to that means correct current equals to beta dc time beta dc time ib okay okay so guys you know the value of ic that is 5 milliampere and you know the value of ib this is ib so this is 50 microampere now you can easily solve the beta dc okay beta dc is given by ic divided by ic divided by ib okay that means ic is 5 milliampere okay 5 milliampere divided by 50 microampere okay so if you solve this 5 milliampere divided by 50 microampere you will get your beta and that is 100 you can try your calculator guys you can try your calculator and you can solve 5 milliampere divided by 50 microampere and you get the value of 100 so this beta dc since it is again this is unitless so you don't see any unit on beta dc and for this circuit for this circuit your beta dc is 100 and now guys you can easily solve your university exam if you know the concept how will you apply the kvl on collector to emitter loop and how will you apply the kvl on this loop also base to emitter loop okay since you have already got the base current is 50 microampere you do not need to apply anything so you do not need to calculate the base current again since you have got the value of base current okay so if you know the base current iv and if you know the collector current ic you can easily find the the beta dc by using this equation that is ic equals to beta dc beta dc into ib and beta dc is given by ic divided by ib if you do the math here 5 milliampere divided by 50 microampere you will get the beta dc is 100 now you are done with your question okay so in in the university exam sometimes they won't give you the voltage drop across this register and they may give you the vcc value let's say this is 12 volt 